If you followed along with the videos in this series, at this point, you should have a well-structured ad campaign up and running. Congratulations. So now what? I've said it already, but it's worth repeating. Pay-per-click advertising is not a setup and forget it endeavor. And in this final video, we'll look at a few things you can do right away to begin fine-tuning your campaign. For starters, there are three simple but powerful tools you can use to improve your campaigns. Negative keywords, ad targeting, and dynamic text. Let's take a quick look at each one. Negative keywords prevent your ads from displaying for search queries that contain your keywords but are irrelevant to your ad. For example, in the Summer Airfare campaign, we bid on the broad match keyword European Airfare, which means our ad could display for related queries like European Airlines and European Cruises. To make sure the ad doesn't display for related searches like this, we would add them as negative keywords. You can add negative keywords to the individual ad groups or to the entire campaign. To add them at the campaign level, click the campaign name. Then click Settings. Here, under Advanced Settings, click Negative Keywords and enter the ones you want. Negative keywords are probably the most important tool to help you achieve your campaign ROI goals, so make sure to take advantage of them. Next, consider using targeting to show your ads to only those people who meet specific criteria. You can target by location, day of the week, time of day, and even by device. We know our customers mostly do their vacation research on weekends, so we can set the ads in this campaign to run only on Saturday and Sunday. Also, we'll have these ads display on tablet devices, which are becoming a popular way to do research. Let's limit these ads to run just in the United States, since our airfare specials are only available to flights originating in the U.S. By now it's probably clear why this is called targeting. You can zero in on exactly the audience you want for a particular ad group or campaign. Finally, great ad copy attracts customers, and by using the dynamic text feature, you can get customers to help you write it. You insert dynamic text in the ad itself. For example, in this ad, if I wanted the title to automatically include keywords I bid on, I would replace this text with the keyword placeholder. Now when someone searches on European Airfare, this ad will automatically display like this. Dynamic text is a powerful way to deliver highly custom and relevant ads based on what customers searched for. Make sure to check out the help topics and videos on dynamic text to learn to use it most effectively. One last tip. Don't forget to take advantage of the more than 20 available reports. I recommend starting with the Keyword Performance Report. You'll see all of the important information about your keywords, traffic, pricing, ranking, and more, right in one place. If you take away just one thing from this video, realize that the secret of creating an effective ad campaign is taking the time to make it effective. The tools and techniques I've shared in this video are just a few of the many ways to help you do just that. I think you'll find that pay-per-click advertising is one of the simplest and most affordable ways to get your business in front of people who are already searching for it.